Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about step response of RC circuit. And here I will be solving practice problem 7.11. Now this is a repeat in one of my earlier videos about four years back I had also made this. Now before we start let me give you a concept that I follow that is called the uh, time concept. This is our zero line. So anything prior to that is called T less than zero. And this is a steady state condition. So whatever is the value that is fixed uh, on this range of time. Then after T is equal to zero that is t greater than zero we write the transient state starts and there is a capacitor that will start charging and up to actually five tau the charging completes and there the transient state ends so after that whatever is the time we call it time or t greater greater than zero and this is a steady state condition Now, I'll straight away go to the formula for the output voltage for step response of an RC circuit. The details is given in the book, so you can study. This is the formula that we'll be following. And if we analyze this, this is the voltage before T is equal to zero, that is the initial capacitor voltage. Then this is the final voltage or we call infinite voltage. This is at T greater greater than zero. This is the final capacitor voltage. And this term is tau, which is called time constant. And this is found during the transient period that is at T equal to zero plus. And if you see in the relation to this circuit, you can see the switch will be closing at t is equal to zero. So before t is equal to zero, the switch is open. And whatever voltage is already present in the capacitor, that voltage will be called V0 voltage. So in our calculation, this will be our first step to find V0. The moment we close this switch, we are in the transient mode, capacitor charging or discharging. And this mode, we only calculate the time constant tau. And after the switch has been closed for a long time, the greater greater than zero, then the capacitor is fully charged, it behaves like an open circuit. And the voltage across the capacitor now will be called V infinite. So this will calculate in step number three. Okay, now the practice problem, the switch and figure is closed at T is equal to zero. Find IT and VT for all time. Okay, so step one, for T less than zero, we need to find V zero. And so our circuit will be, this is open. T uh, less than zero, the switch is open. And now you can see there are two loops basically, which are not interconnected. This is one loop and this is another loop. Now this current is flowing through this resistor only and so it does not have any effect on the capacitor voltage and therefore this whole thing can be neglected. So we are only left with this part. So we can say that for T less than zero, this is our circuit and whatever is the voltage that will be our V0 voltage. Now. An important point to note, this voltage is 20 U minus T. Now, what does this mean? This means U minus T is actually means that the 
value is 1 for t less than 0 and it is 0 for t greater than 0. Now since we are talking of t less than 0, that means our amplitude is 1 for u t. 20 u minus t will actually be 20 multiplied by 1, so it is 20 volt. And this is the second now, and how much will be the capacitor voltage now? You can get guess from here, the 20 volt will charge this capacitor fully, and so the V0 or the capacitor voltage will be 20 volt. Capacitor is open now after full charge, and so we'll say that V0 is 20 volt. So this is our first step. Now in the second step, we will find the time constant. At t greater than zero, the transient period, this voltage source, we have said that it will be zero after t is equal to zero. This was a 20 u t minus. So this is zero now, short circuit. The switch is now closed. The capacitor is not fully charged as yet, so we'll keep it. And so this is the transient period. What we have to find is time constant tau. And the time constant is actually given by R C R equivalent C or R equivalent C. So we have to find the R from this circuit. C already is given. Okay, if we redraw this, it will come like this, and now you can see these two resistances are in parallel. So our resistance will be these two parallel calculated, it will be 10 over 3, inductor and the current source. Now to find R7, we put the current source 0 or the voltage source also 0. The current source 0 is made by opening the circuit. So we open it, so this is our circuit, and whatever is the resistance across the capacitor, that is our R thevenin or R equivalent. So 5 parallel 10, it was 10 over 3, so this is R equivalent or R thevenin. And so tau now can be found by R thevenin, 10 over 3, multiplied by the capacitor 0 0.2, so 2 over 3 second. So this is our second step, and now third step, we have to find V infinity. Now this is the circuit at infinity, or first of all, let's see, at T uh, greater than zero, immediately after the switch is closed, this was the circuit that we had already seen. The voltage source becomes zero, so it's closed. Now, after long time, when the capacitor is fully charged, the capacitor should behave like an open circuit. And so the capacitor is behaving like an open circuit. So this is the circuit at T greater, greater than zero. Now, what is the voltage here? You can again see these two resistances are in parallel. So let's combine them. So combining these two, it will be 10 over 3. This is our current source. So whatever is the voltage across, this will be the voltage across the capacitor. And this voltage can be found by I into R. So we can say that V infinity is I into R, 10 over 3, 10 volts. So V infinity is 10. So we have found all the three required parameters. V0 20 volt, V infinity 10 volt, and tau 2 by 3. And now I'll put in the formula that we had. So putting the values V infinity 10, V0 20, V infinity minus 10, E raised to the power minus T, and tau was 2 over 3. Simplifying this will become 10 here. And this will become, when it goes up, it will be 3 over 2, which is 1 over 5. So minus 1 over 5t. We can take 10 common. So this will be our uh, the total uh, equation for voltage 
after t greater than 0. So this is the equation for t greater than 0. But for t less than 0, this is the complete solution because the question says find for all time. So this is t greater than 0. And for t less than 0, we know v0 was 20. So we'll write this. This is how you write the final equation. Okay, now we have found uh, v. We also need to find i. Okay, so how much is i? Let's see the circuit in the transient state. This was the circuit. We need to find this current i for t greater than 0. Redrawing again. Now look from the circuit. i is minus v over 5. How come? This is the voltage across this resistor. And so this voltage will be here. And according to this voltage, the current direction should have been like this, going out from the positive. But here the current direction is opposite, and th therefore we have to put a negative sign. So i is negative v over 5. And how much is v? We just will take this for t greater than 0, this relation. So putting in that, this is our i. Simplifying, we get this relation. This is for t greater than 0. Now for t less than 0, for t less than 0, this will be our circuit. From the original circuit, if you recall, the switch was open. This is the circuit, this is V0, and now what will be the current? 20 volt here, 20 volt here. So we can say 20 minus 20 divided by 5, that means 0. So for T less than 0, I is 0. So the complete solution, we write both. I is 0 for T less than 0, and I is this value for T greater than 0. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know your feedback. Thank you.